So just got a basic Robert Shaw switch. This one's a broken one. Sometimes uh, the shaft is different shape than the one switch I have on the back. So what I do, I just got my trusty dusty screwdriver here. Pry that up. And the field, the one screwdriver I have is a little bit smaller than this one. You just slowly pop that up. Off. Take the shaft out. I would reuse this shaft. Do the same way with the new switch because this is the parts that break right here, the, the contacts in here. And in fact, electricity travels through these bimetal. You see this? The bimetal. Two different metals. So they expand and contract at different rates, which causes the bend in motion and when they heat up and when it bends that's how it turns the switch off and depending on where the switch exactly is at when you um adjust it is how often before it turns back on so i'm gonna grab the other one because these things this part of the switch minus uh the pilot terminal which i believe is uh this guy they're all the same as long as the amperage is within similar. You could get away with, uh, you know, like a little bit different. Not a lot. Like I would use a, a, a 9011 amp on this one. They're real close. But I would not use like a 4 to 8 amp. No, no, no. Um, but anyways, so the terminals is the for the pilot the main difference. So put it back together. And put it back in. This is the hard part, get it to go back together and stay together. But, um, of course I'm not gonna be able to do it now. Oh, there it goes. There you go, and see how it's loosey goosey. So sometimes you need to Make sure it's nice and tight because sometimes it's not. So in those situations, I take like a hard surface here and hit it down. Push down really hard. Same on both sides. Because you don't want that falling apart. There you go. You test function again. There you go. Good to go.